Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about weekly stock market update and we will figure out is it bullish trend or what's going on with the stock market world. Please subscribe for all my channels and click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Let's move to Vibull. If you want to learn more about Vibull uh, setup, just go to the description and there is the link about my Vibull setup training and other links about all my other trainings. Okay, let's start Vibull. Let's start Vibull. Uh, let's start Vibull. Uh, let me briefly mention about my setup. Quickly, I am using EMA, awesome oscillator, MACD, RSI. That's all. Uh, moving averages, wh white line MA200, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, and green line MA5. MACD indicator, red line signal line, green line MACD line, RSI line, the same setup, red line signal line, green line RSI. Awesome oscillator, red is a bearish, green is a bullish. Let's start it weekly. Weekly, let's start from US dollar. USA dollar, it's a simple, but it's not easy because of your emotions and all, right? Remember about it. You have to control your emotions and discipline. Uh, let's, uh, let's. Okay, let's maximize it, maximize it a little bit. Bullish trend, not actually, weekly, it's not a bullish. Weekly dollar is trying to change direction to bullish. And the MA5 wants to do bullish crossover over 10. It didn't confirm it yet. Last bar touched MA20 even. And it was rejected. It was rejected. MACD didn't confirm bullish crossover yet. RSI didn't confirm yet. It has some bullish divergences, but no confirmation. Only awesome oscillator switch to red from red from bearish to bullish. All other indicators still bearish. It means it's a bullish for indexes on weekly time frame let's check daily daily different story it's already bullish right daily ma5 already bullish macd bullish rsi bullish osmos letter bullish it means it's bearish for indexes on daily time frame but weekly it's still bearish it means it's bullish for indexes let's move to queues weekly queues it's bullish right it's bullish this major trend line this green line it's a major trend line the last bar still last four bars above the major trend line it's still below ma 100 but it's above all moving averages except 100. The last bar it's in decision mode uh, week is over and uh, it's kind of same price action in decision mode bar it means uh, sellers and buyers on the, met at the same price action and market can go up or can go down in this case i believe it will go down because because of the bearish divergences and because of the uh, many indicators many indicators they show overbought condition for indexes and they show they show also bearish divergences and uh, and, and bearish reversal signal for all indexes. Okay, weekly it's still bullish. Still bullish for Qs. Daily it's already bearish, right? All indicators, my May 5 did bearish crossover, uh, MACD bearish crossover, RSI and also letter, all bearish daily. Let's move to VXN. V VXN volatility index for NASDAQ. And it's bearish, it wants to go bullish for weekly. And it will be bearish for Qs. So far, it's still bullish for Qs. Because volatility index still bearish, except only one indicator of small letter green. I don't trade volatility indexes, I just monitor it for confirmation. SPY. I don't trade also on weekly time frame. I, I just monitor weekly time frame for the market trend direction. I do only use for swing trading 4 hours and daily time frame. That's what my swing trading uh, time frames. Weekly just and monthly just monitor the market direction. Okay. Weekly, it's a bullish. SPY, it's a bullish on all indicators. MI5, last bar above all moving averages. Bullish trend. And, and it's above the last 3 weeks, it's above the major trend line. 
Если bullish, Магди bullish, RSI bullish, Osmos letter bullish weekly. That's good. Bullish weekly. Let's go to daily. Daily spy already bearish. MACD did bearish crossover. RSI Osmos letter all bearish. MA5 ready for bearish crossover. Last bar close below May 20. Bearish signal, bearish reversal signal on daily time frame. Let's move to VIX. VIX volatility index weekly. Volatility index weekly still bearish. It's a bullish for SPY. Let's move to Dow Jones. Dow Jones weekly. It's a flat, flat price action, right? Weekly, it's still below major top line and it's between two moving it's between two trend lines it's a top it's at the same price action for several weeks already didn't make any bearish crossover so far it's still bullish MACD is still bullish RSI, RSI is still bullish also a little already red bearish weekly we can consider still bullish but in reality it's a, it's a flat flat trend no bullish trend it's just flat daily daily similar story right it's a, it's a flat for several days several days flat on macd but on ma5 we just did bearish crossover last bar close below ma5 10 and 20 and 50 bearish crossover on macd on rsi no small slater bearish on daily bullish on weekly let's for dow jones let's move to vxd volatility index uh yeah weekly it's bearish and 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 um, on the volatility index bearish also should be opposite it's completely disconnected it's disconnected let's see yeah it's bullish no actually it's a bullish on day yeah it's a bullish on weekly for dow jones on vxd Bearish. That's correct. Absolutely correct. Uh, absolutely correct. IWM. IWM weekly. Bullish trend. Last bar above all moving averages. Above the major trend line. This green line is a major trend line. It's above all moving averages. It's a bullish. RSI bullish. MACD bullish. Also slightly bull bullish on all indicators on weekly time frame. Let's move to daily. Daily. MACD bearish a last bar below may 5 10 it's still kind of yeah 20 is a strong support it's flat on the moving averages on rsi flat on awesome letter bearish on macd bearish bearish on daily time frame it wants to have some correction but on weekly it's still bullish right on weekly it is still bullish let's move to apple apple weekly Apple weekly bullish trend. In May 5 did bullish crossover over 10, 20, and 50. Bullish trend. Uh, MACD bullish. RSI bullish. Awesome oscillator bullish. Let's check daily. Daily different story. MACD did bearish crossover. RSI ready for bearish crossover. Awesome oscillator ready for bearish. Um, MAG, moving averages ready but didn't conform yet. It's yeah i like rsi ready but didn't confirm it bearish divergences on all indicators but no confirmation on 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 lines still kind of we can consider still bullish let's move to tesla tesla weekly tesla weekly bullish macd bullish rsi bullish awesome oscillator bullish on on moving on the pri on the on the moving averages let's move to daily daily it's the same bullish trend on all indicators except also awesome oscillator also awesome oscillator is red let's move to baba baba weekly different story baba weekly weekly it was bullish it's still bullish on macd on rsi on the may 5 it wants to do bearish crossover over 5 50 and 10. It didn't conform yet, but it's already bar bar already closed below. MA5, 10 and 20. And 50. Not 20, 50. Not 20. Okay. Um, 
Red Baron, Awesome Oscillator Weekly, Still Bullish with Bearish Direction. Daily, it's already bearish, right? Bearish for several days. Uh, the only one positive thing that can be, last bar touched MA200 and it bounce, it can bounce from it. It can bounce or it can just close and do bearish crossover and just move forward, like the same like it was here. In the resistance, it didn't reject it. Was, it wasn't rejected. It did bullish crossover without any rejections and move bullish. On bearish, we'll see. We'll, uh, MA200 will be as a support level or it will also do bearish crossover and move down. It's not confirmed yet. Bearish trend on daily for BABA. That's all. Let's do summary. Let's do summary. All indexes on weekly time frame, they all still bullish on weekly time frame, but on daily they already changed direction from bullish to bearish. That's what we have. Thank you so much. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. Please, please read it. Thank you for watching simple trading style video. I do uh, I do publish daily, weekly, and monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe for all my channels. Click like button to support YouTube channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now. Tomorrow I will publish uh, weekly, uh, I'm not, weekly and weekly and monthly. Over the weekend I will I will publish top days weekly and monthly. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye.